welcome and thank you for joining us today and listening in. Ampere is three and a half years old now and we've given annual updates to some of the press, but this year we thought it would be great to do it with a broader audience. So today you're gonna to hear from Ampere's Chief Technology Officer, Atik Bajwa, and our Chief Product Officer, Jeff Wittick. Atik will provide insight into how Ampere's technical innovation is delivering modern microprocessors for the cloud. And then you'll hear from Jeff about our new roadmap updates, as well as product and customers. But first, a little history about Ampere. Of course, there's never been a more exciting time to be in the semiconductor business. With rapid innovation, all sorts of new uses, new users are coming to our market every day. We started Ampere with the point of view about what was possible using modern tools, rapid innovation, and a fresh approach to invention. And we are very focused on the new software environment of the cloud. Because let's face it, microprocessors are really just about delivering features and performance for a specific software environment. And we knew that the future was not going to be like the past because the software environment had changed. It was no longer about the PC and the PC server business, but it was about the cloud and the edge of the cloud. And so a different type of microprocessor was required as well as a new server platform. And that's what we do at Ampere. So here we are, three and a half years later, with the support and funding of fantastic investors and an outstanding leadership team, a lot of hard work, we've delivered Ultra, the 80 core and Ultra Max are 128 core products to the market, both uniquely designed for the cloud data center. Ultra and Ultra Max deliver top tier performance, but more importantly, they deliver features and capabilities that are specific for the cloud. I am so proud of this team and their ability to focus and execute and bring industry leading microprocessors to market in just a few years and in the middle of a once in a hundred year pandemic. Ampere has been on an annual cadence of new products in progress and nothing is slowing us down. So today we're gonna to talk about the news for this year. 2021 is a very exciting year for Ampere. It's an important year for us because since the founding of the company, we've been about invention and innovation. And at the heart of our company is our architecture team, led by Autic. I'll let Autic talk a little bit more about that in a second. But the thing that we were about from the day that we started was this idea about inventing what comes next for the cloud and for the data center. So we filed hundreds of patents and we've been working very, very hard on the two products we've talked about, but we've also been building our own roadmap of innovation. Ampere engineers are inventors. And as an ARM architecture licensee, in a long-term partnership with ARM, we've been able to use both ARM IPs in our early products, as well as invent our own. We have been working on, from the beginning, our own core and our own IPs for upcoming products. So today, we will discuss the next phase of our products, which, as I said, are roughly on an annual cadence that are based on our own inventions and the Ampere core, which we'll sample in 2022 in our follow-on products to Ultra. Jeff and Autic will give more information in the rest of this webcast about those products. But before we get to the details, let's pause and hear from one of our great partners, Microsoft, about their work with Ampere. Thank you, Renee. Customers are facing a complex set of challenges as they deploy workloads globally from edge to cloud. We work closely with partners to create innovative solutions to manage this complexity and make digital transformation possible. Today, I'm pleased to share our collaboration with Ampere to bring new technologies to the market. We believe today's vast variety of customer workloads requires a range of infrastructure and software solutions. The current renaissance in silicon design creates new possibilities to support these solutions. Ampere's vision to build a new generation of cloud-scale data center processors enables Microsoft to optimize our products to improve scalability, performance, and power efficiency. Their enhancements in hardware security and impactless maintenance will enable seamless delivery of security and stability improvements that cloud customers require. 
The next generation of computing technology needs to be cloud native, designed from the ground up for software technologies like microservices, containers, and serverless. And today, customers use these tools to deploy and manage tens of thousands of instances across Microsoft's more than 60 global regions. These modern, dynamic, and scalable applications will benefit greatly from the improvements Ampere is pioneering in processor scalability and virtualization. And modern workloads also require consistent and predictable performance from the CPU app to provide a great customer experience. Taking a macro view, Microsoft's plan to become carbon negative by 2030 requires new technology in both hardware and software. The extreme power efficiency of Ampere processors and their advanced power management features, coupled with our cloud operations technology, will go a long way towards helping us achieve that goal. Microsoft is uniquely positioned to help foster these innovations through collaboration. Our 25 years of experience with ARM technology enabled us to develop important industry standards that prepared the ARM architecture for data center scale computing. Microsoft continues to contribute to the ARM64 ecosystem in areas like confidential computing enhancements for future ARM v9 products. We're excited to collaborate with Ampere to advance the innovation you're hearing about today and bring new solutions to customers worldwide. And as the engineering team continues to work together, we're just one step closer to achieving Microsoft's mission to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Thank you, Erin, for the partnership and support for the Ultra and Ultra Max and for the future Ampere core-based products. Ampere's customers are very excited about what they can do in their data centers with our products. And you're going to hear much more of that in the coming weeks from the customers, as well as later in this webcast in Jeff's section. Right now, though, I'd like to invite Autic to speak about our technical vision for our products and our work. Autic? Thanks, Renee. As CTO, my primary duty is to set the technical vision, priorities, and technology roadmap for our products, and then foster and guide the innovation necessary to realize it in our products. So I'm excited at the opportunity to share our vision and how our approach to innovation is informed by it. I'd like to start, however, by reviewing our mission. Our vision springs from it, and it has been instrumental in growing our innovation engine. As you heard, at Ampere, we are on a mission to invent what comes next in cloud computing. This is an audacious goal. Audacious, achievable, and impactful. And it is precisely this bold and meaningful purpose that has inspired so many talented technologists from across the industry to join us in our endeavor. From industry veterans who have given up the tranquility of retirement to recognized industry experts who have left prestigious and respected positions elsewhere in, in the industry to brilliant inventors at all career stages who are eager to put their imprint on the evolution of technology and of our industry. We have been able to bring together an amazing team dedicated to our shared mission. A team with hundreds of patents to their names, dozens of projects under their belt, and a relentless drive to invent and change the world. We knew from the outset that innovation and invention were going to be crucial to realizing our goals. An experience taught us that to innovate at the scale and the pace we wanted, we would need four crucial ingredients. Talented inventors with expertise and insight into technologies and trends in our industry. A mission that engages their passion and unlocks their creativity. An agile, collaborative environment to enable rapid discipline innovation. And a vision and a strategy that enables them to focus their talent and inventive energy on what matters most. 
Our mission provides us the platform to attract and energize talented people we need. And I'm quite passionate and proud of the environment we've created at Ampere. So let's get back to our vision, the vital fourth ingredient. As I mentioned, the technical vision we use to guide our product definition and development is rooted in our mission and can be summarized as build the best processors for the cloud. This means that we can maintain an unwavering focus on what matters to the cloud, unencumbered by the legacy software stacks and other market segments like clients, high performance computing, or enterprise data centers. Our vision is to build cloud optimized products that deliver the best performance on data center workloads at the thread or vCPU level and at the socket level. Performance that scales to large numbers of threads. Performance that is consistent and predictable and entails no security vulnerabilities. Performance that is power efficient, delivering both the lowest power per core and the highest performance per watt. The architectural support required for modern cloud software and the robustness and manageability necessary at scale and an architectural partitioning that enables us to be agile and responsive to the unique needs of our customers, all on a rapid, predictable cadence. Realizing this vision requires innovation. These inventions are guided by our targeted build and buy strategy. We invest our precious talent to innovate in technologies, tools, methodologies and IP that will enable us to deliver differentiated benefits on elements of our vision. And we partner with ecosystem for everything else. Even with this focus, our innovation efforts span software, design methodology, packaging, high volume manufacturing, and platform design. To give you a sense of how our strategy translates into action, I'd like to talk about one noteworthy example. We believe that the processor, and in particular, the compute complex, is a key source of value in the cloud data center. So we brought together a team of veterans from across the industry to build a CPU core optimized for the cloud. We built an ARM architecture compliant core that deprecated optional features that aren't relevant in cloud. And we selectively optimized the performance of ARM instructions based on their prevalence in data center workloads. And we optimized the performance and power for cloud environments, not to meet the needs of cell phones or laptops. These choices will enable us to deliver future Ampere processors that deliver even better, more predictable performance and performance scaling on cloud workloads. I've been around a long time, having contributed to the development of the first superscalar processors in the late 80s and the earliest out-of-order microprocessors in the mid-90s. So people often ask me, why are you doing this? And the simple answer is, because it matters. And because it is fun when you get to work with a crew that has banded together at Ampere. As you can tell, I'm really excited about the innovation we've already brought to market with Ultra and Ultra Max. And I'm even more excited about the inventions in our pipeline. So I'll hand it over to Jeff so he can share how we are going to bring these great innovations to market. Thanks, Ajik. As you can see, innovation is at the heart of Ampere and drives everything we do. As the Chief Product Officer, I'm going to tell you about some of the amazing products we've already delivered and look forward to the future. The innovation of the cloud-native ecosystem has ushered in a new compute model that allows DevOps to seamlessly deploy and scale services on vast infrastructure. This ability to scale out in an elastic manner 
has been a major reason for the continuing growth of the cloud. It is critical that the underlying hardware enables the desired elasticity, resiliency, automation, and portability required by cloud service providers and cloud native developers. For this, you need the right type of CPU, one that delivers predictable high performance, platform scalability, and power efficient compute density. This is why at Ampere, we have built what we call the world's first cloud native processor, Ampere Ultra. The Ampere Ultra family delivers predictable high performance with maximum cores, up to 128 in a single processor. In addition to providing each core with large caches and memory bandwidth, each core has been specifically optimized for consistently high performance across many different workloads, regardless of the number of users. This means that a cloud service provider can deliver industry-leading performance all of the time to their users without worrying about degraded service. Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max deliver platform scalability. As more cores are brought online, performance scales linearly. Combined with maximum network and IO bandwidth, this results in the highest performance scaled out across the server, rack, and data center. Being able to scale performance to meet increasing demand provides the elasticity that cloud service providers require. Our products also deliver power efficient compute density. By optimizing our processors for the highest performance per watt and the lowest power per core, Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max are the most efficient data center processors. This allows cloud service providers to deploy more cores and more CPUs, meaning more capacity in the same rack and data center footprint. Together, this results in not just the ideal processor for the cloud, but also the lowest total cost of ownership in cloud. But why does this really matter? Let's consider a microservices-based application like ride hailing. There can be thousands of individual microservices running, which provide everything from matching the rider and driver, to mapping the ride, to billing when the ride is completed. These must scale based both on the complexity of an individual ride and on the number of concurrent rides occurring. When building the overall service, you want the rider's request to complete as quickly as possible every single time. You want to be able to scale up and down with the number of riders, and you'd like to do so within an existing data center footprint at the lowest possible total cost. This is where Ampere Ultra shines with the ability to distribute these microservices across many high performance and efficient cores. These are the highest performance processors and they're available to anyone building or running in a cloud from hyperscale to edge. To deliver innovative new cloud processors every year, Ampere has embraced a unique approach to our product development, an agile and composable approach to silicon design, a relentless focus on cloud architecture, and an optimized CPU architecture that delivers scale across many generations of processors. Last year, we said that the 80-core Ampere Ultra would be in production in 2020, and we delivered. We said that the 128-core Ampere Ultra Max would be in production in 2021, and we're currently sampling with production in Q3. We'll continue to release new products every year to deliver the highest performance per vCPU, server, and rack, the highest core count, and the highest performance per watt, the metrics that matter to cloud-native computing. The Ampere architecture delivers the key advantages for our cloud leadership. We've designed our processors to scale out with linear performance across the maximum number of cores. Running hundreds of cores in the cloud is very different from running a handful of cores on a PC. It requires more isolation between each thread, a different cache hierarchy, and a sophisticated mesh to connect the cores to the memory and I.O. We have been enhancing this with our own core microarchitecture to continue to predictably scale performance at rapidly increasing core counts. Efficiency is also critical, both in terms of power and area. This results in the densest and highest performance servers, racks, and data centers. We have also designed our processors to be most efficient at the moderate and high utilization seen in the cloud and to manage power in such a way that it doesn't impact the performance seen by users. With our own core, we have developed an even more efficient microarchitecture and innovative features driven by the unique ways workloads run in the cloud. Let's take a look at real-world cloud performance. 
whether to protect user data that is being stored or application data that is being sent across the internet, encryption is a critical cloud workload. Ampere Ultra Max delivers 1.55 times higher performance than legacy x86 servers for a more secure cloud. Media encoding, such as that used in video conferencing apps, is increasingly important. Ampere Ultra Max can encode 1.45 times more video streams than legacy x86 servers for a more productive cloud. And the heart of all web services is software like Nginx that handles all of the incoming user requests. Ampere Ultra Max can service 1.63 times more web requests than legacy x86 servers for a more scalable cloud. By adopting Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max, cloud providers and users can achieve higher performance with greater scalability and more efficiency than legacy x86 servers. In fact, in addition to the Ampere Ultra family delivering over 1.6x performance, it can also match the peak performance of legacy x86 servers at only three quarters the power. This combination of leading performance and efficiency results in 1.8x more web requests per rack than legacy x86 servers. CICD is a major part of cloud native computing, and Ampere has embraced it in our development process. Each night, we run regression tests across a host of operating systems, programming languages, and applications to ensure that the out-of-the-box performance of Ampere processors doesn't regress when new code is released. For transparency with our users, we publish the daily results on our publicly available Ampere Solutions portal. We continuously optimize applications for our Ampere processors to ensure that both our current Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max processors, as well as all future processors, run at peak performance with full compatibility across all processors. All of this work is upstreamed and made available freely to our users. When it comes to the servers themselves, standardization and interoperability are extremely important. Our processors are SBSA compliant, ensuring operating systems can boot and infrastructure can be managed in a standard way. We have a great set of OEMs and ODMs with whom we've been working on a wide range of platforms. Foxconn, Gigabyte, Inspur, and WeWin have each developed Ampere Ultra-based platforms that span everything from single socket to dual socket to dense compute to storage to GPU attached servers. From the Ampere Ultra family of processors up to the application layer, Ampere has built a rich ecosystem for ease of adoption. But that's not all. In addition to being able to deploy your own Ampere Ultra-based server, there are many cloud service providers adopting Ampere Ultra and providing access to their customers. Let's hear from some of them. Earlier, Aaron spoke about the complex challenges customers are tackling to build modern applications at cloud scale. Ampere's technology can help. And that's why I'm excited about our collaboration to realize the vision of cloud-native computing. Capabilities like increased core count and faster frequencies are important, but they're just the beginning. To serve customers' broader needs, we require consistent performance and fine-grained control over infrastructure behavior. The ability to control workload priorities and optimize power utilization across the breadth of our cloud infrastructure will unlock greater efficiency and lower costs in ways never before realized. These advancements require deep integration. Ampere and Microsoft have been working on these unique capabilities for some time now, and we're excited to see them landing across Ampere's roadmap. We're currently using the Ultra family of products to prepare Azure's infrastructure for these innovations and have been talking about ARM64 solutions with customers who want to learn more about our work with Ampere. Customers want infrastructure that's built to seamlessly run their most demanding workloads, and Azure is answering that call. We'll share more about this in the future, so stay tuned. Hello, I'm Clay McWork, Executive Vice President of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I'm here today to talk to you about the great partnership we have with Ampere. Oracle has always been one of Ampere's earliest customers. We've worked with them very closely to develop not just the current generation of Ampere Ultra, but the future generations of their world-class, best-in-industry processors. We're super excited to be working with them to bring the power of Ampere Ultra to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. As of right now, we're actually giving early access to customers, developers, and open source developers around the world 
via our limited availability access to the Ampere Ultra processor on the Oracle A1 platform in OCI. The feedback they've been giving us is great. They're super excited by the performance, the overall cost effectiveness and the security they're receiving from the Ampere Ultra processor. In addition to that, we're not just stopping with the infrastructure itself. We're also working with industry partners to make sure that we have the right build tools and other ecosystem components needed to make all developers successful on ARM with Ampere Ultra uh, and on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. We can't wait to launch this publicly available later this month. We really appreciate all of the great work that Ampere has been doing, and we can't wait to see what's coming next. Thank you. 大家好啊，我是李成栋啊，来自腾讯质量部的软硬件协同架构师啊。感谢 Ampere 邀请我啊，代表腾讯谈谈对于 Ampere Ultra 服务器的看法啊。腾讯啊，以及腾讯云用户拥有海量的业务类型啊，因此催生了对服务器产品的多元化需求。啊、Ampere Ultra 服务器的测评数据。激发了我们对创新的想象，啊，与 m p e r 一起，我们共同探讨啊，使用 a r c h e r 服务器啊，提升腾讯业务的产品竞争力和提升用户体验的方案。a r c h e r 芯片啊，强劲的单核性能啊，高计算密度以及稳定的可扩展性等特点，啊，让我们看到了在云游戏、移动端、爱普测试、高性能数据库、大数据啊，以及视频编辑码等领域的创新机会。啊，相信与 m p e r 合作，啊，努力可以把这些想法变成现实，啊，我们也期待 m p e r 计划在今年推出一百二十八核 a c t u a l Max 啊，以及后续的产品，希望能与 m p e r 这样的伙伴在计算平台创新啊、性能优化啊、生态建设等领域啊进行更多的啊技术合作和交流。Ampere Ultra has seen rapid deployment with many more services to come over the next few months. It's exciting to see processors designed for the cloud now available across the cloud. Before I hand it back to Renee, there's one important update on our roadmap. We're excited to reveal our next generation Ampere processor, which will come out in 2022. As Renee explained, innovation is at our core at Ampere, so it's natural. That our next processor features our own Ampere core, designed by Ampere from the ground up for the cloud. This will deliver the highest performance, most scalable, and most power-efficient processor with new capabilities desired by cloud infrastructure. Our five nanometer processor has more cores and the latest platform technologies to increase memory bandwidth and I/O network bandwidth. You'll hear more details in the future. In order to continue and accelerate our leadership in the cloud, a core developed uniquely for the cloud versus a core reused from phones, tablets, and laptops is essential. The microarchitecture itself must be designed with multi-tenancy and scalability in mind. The ARM ISA is a great base for this. Innovation at all levels, from the silicon to the firmware to the server. And out across the entire software ecosystem is what we do at Ampere, and the core is where it all starts. With our world-class silicon design team, we will bring some amazing capabilities to our Ampere processors. By designing our own core, we can deliver higher performance with more cores and lower power at a faster cadence. We've been developing our cores since Ampere was founded, and we've been hard at work collaborating with our leading customers on this product. This is an incredible time to be innovating on cloud silicon. Let me sum up how we're fulfilling our promises. We delivered industry-leading cloud processors with Ampere Ultra and Ultra Max. Leading cloud service providers are running services on them today, and our annual roadmap cadence will continue next year with Ampere processors featuring our own Ampere Core. This is only the beginning, and I can't wait to tell you more about our Ampere innovations in the future. Thank you, Jeff. Before we go, I want to talk about one more thing, and that's about the semiconductor industry. All of us are hearing and reading about the importance of semiconductors to everything that we do and to our future lives. What I would say is that's not new. We, those of us that have been doing this for a long time, have known that that was true since the beginning of the integrated circuit business five decades ago. 
What I'm very happy to know is that everyone else is understanding the underpinning of this technology to our economy. What is new is how difficult it is to get one of these companies started, to find funding, to get the products into production through a very complex and integrated supply chain. So what I'm thrilled about is the current administration being focused on issues related to supply and to manufacturing. And I look forward to them expanding their view into R&D and into smaller innovation companies and fabulous companies like Ampere, where I believe the true future of the industry is undoubtedly to be found. We're in the third phase of computing, the post mainframe, post PC, PC enterprise based server phase, into the phase of cloud, artificial intelligence, and the data center compute. Like the innovations of the mainframe and the PC mini and, and PC enterprise servers that came before us, we need new technology for a new era, and that is what we do at Ampere Computing. I wanna thank you again for listening to our update. We look forward to even greater things when we meet again next year, and please stay healthy and be well.